to the southern snack. Laugh is too short to be serious. All right, folks. We are at Jimmy John's trying their two new items. They have brought back the caprese, which is mozzarella, balsamic, roasted tomato, and a couple other things. I mean, pesto and... I love this item. So I love the sandwich. They have it as a wrap too with that garlic parmesan wrap. And then they have the new blueberry lemon blueberry cobbler cookie, which looks like it's lacking on the blueberries, but we are gonna try it anyways. Hopefully it's really good. It looks good as advertised, but it doesn't look great. The one I purchased, so we'll have to see, but uh, you never know. And and I put the wrap on top of the cookie and then it got all messy. So, cookie's still closed up. So, anyways, what was weird when I walked in there, they still had peppermint chocolate cookies. Now, you can't order that on the app. So, why they have peppermint chocolate cookies, I have no clues. Can somebody from Jimmy John's give me an explanation? All right. Is that good? I think so. Had a really weird pose for that. Anyways, let's go ahead chow down on the Caprese melt. I just, I love this thick amount of mozzarella. I think it's salami that it comes with or pastrami, one of them. Pastrami, I think. Anyways, one more look and let's chow down. Mmm. Such a delicious mess. So delicious. I don't remember giving it a 10. The last time I had it, I thought that maybe it was lacking something. This time around, no, it's just, it's fantastic. Mmm. Creamy. Slightly crunchy, very saucy. Um, it's everything you want in a wrap. Mm. That flavor is just top notch. And it's making a mess on me. But, folks, I really am tempted to eat the whole thing right now or just go ham on it or go pastrami on it um that's a winner 10 out of 10 i mean just you got a little bit of a slight tang very savory notes creamy um a little bit of sweetness too from from the glaze and from the tomato so really really just a defined burst of flavor and there's nothing else to really say on that. Like, and the sub's good, really good too. So I don't know what would have made me say anything other than a 10 last time. But right now, put me on the record. I will not forget. It's a 10. Okay. Now I'm opening the cookie. Very nervous. Looks like there's a big hunk right there. So... We're going to break into it. We're going we're gonna to see. Okay. So, it's filled. Interesting. I thought it was going to it was going to be like studded with blueberries throughout, but no, it is a filled cookie. So, we're going to go ahead and take a small little bite of this. Ooh, it's so gooey. Wow. Okay. Okay. Let's see how good this is. Not as good as I thought it could be. A little artificial. Flavor's not really coming through as much as it could. And I really critiqued Crumble yesterday on their, um, or the other day, on their um, lemon crinkle cookie for not having enough lemon. This is even less flavorful. 
in the lemon department. Hmm. Let me get one more bite of the, the filled area. Yeah, even like the filling isn't like super heavy on blueberry. And it needs to be filled more. Yeah. Um, I mean, it's not bad. I'd say like a four. Um, yeah. It's just so weak. And like, I got to kind of to the same standard of what I just tried earlier this week. That lemon and crink crinkle cookie had more lemon flavor. And while this does have like a blueberry filling, even the blueberry filling is just kind of not doing it for me. So, man, that is a huge disappointment, especially to end this review like that after having a phenomenal um, Caprice wrap or Capri sorry, Caprese wrap. And then for it to end like that, where I'm just like, wow that could have been better i don't know i don't know i'm gonna have to look into the promo details but i thought this was gonna be like a, a cookie studded with blueberries so i sad sad not not happy about that cookie but go get the caprese do not let your don't don't even second thought no second thoughts on that go get it now other than that, I'll see y'all around.